finished up. The hospitals are supposed to release these patients with a certain plan, either directly to uh, an overnight facility or to family, and with information about medical follow-up. Uh, those that don't, uh, the L.A. Uh, the city attorney says uh, he's going to go after them. Okay. Rochelle? Brian Rooney, live from Los Angeles. Brian, keep us posted. We're finally learning some details about the NFL's landmark $765 million concussion settlement plan. And some former players, they're not happy about where the money is going. Michael Leaves joins us with the details laid out for us. Well, basically, it's a lot of money. It is. But maybe it's not so much if you Compared break it down. Compared to the NFL. <laughs> exactly. $765 million, a total that represents the largest sports-related settlement in history. But... Once you dive a bit deeper into that number, you will find that former NFL players suffering from concussion-related illnesses may not receive as much as first thought. The largest payout available is $5 million for those who are suffering from ALS, more commonly known as Lou Gehrig's disease. Now, if a player dies and CTE is found in his brain, his family is eligible to receive up to $4 million. Up to $3 million will be available to former players with cases of dementia. But a diagnosis for any of these conditions must be made before the age of 45 in order for a player to receive the maximum amount. Only a handful of former players will qualify. The older the player, the less money he or his family receives. Joining us now from Tampa, Florida is Ted Corliss, a trial attorney with the Corliss Barfield Group. And now that we know more specifics about this settlement, Ted, what exactly does this mean for those who accept its terms and for those who decide to opt out of the lawsuit? Yesterday, the uh, representatives of the NFL, as well as up to 18,000 players, filed a motion with the court to approve a settlement that had been entered into last August regarding a payment of $765 million. The way this money is going to be broken up is about $675 million of it will be made available for compensation to players that suffer particular injuries or fall within the grid system, as you mentioned. The rest of the money will go, 75 million of it, to research uh, on individual players who are asymptomatic, you know, who don't have ALS or specific injuries that they can identify, and some of that money to educate people regarding some of the problems and the use of particular equipment. Now, there are some attorney fees involved and all the other um, testing and right. um, payouts you mentioned. The total about $900 million total for the NFL. But their league's That's annual right. revenue, Ted, is more than $9 billion. How good of a deal is this for the NFL? This, there is absolutely no downside to this particular settlement for the NFL. As you pointed out, right now the estimated revenue for the NFL is somewhere between $9 and $10 billion. In 2025, it's estimated to be $27 billion. Let me put it this way. If this settlement were being made with a publicly traded corporation, their stock wouldn't even be affected by the settlement. And also by settling, they don't have to reveal any documents they may have as it relates to concussion-related illnesses right. in the past. Now, what bearing does this settlement have, have any on current or future NFL players? The reason why this particular settlement was available is because of a lag time between 1987 and 1993 where there wasn't a collective bargaining agreement. And because there wasn't, there wasn't a way to resolve these, per kinds, of in, these kinds of injuries or to waive these kinds of rights. Now players under a 2011 uh, change in rules and the collective bargaining agreement are barred from bringing these kinds of cases. Ted Corliss from the Corliss Barfield the settlement Group. Money, I'm right. sorry, didn't mean to cut you off, Ted. No, go ahead. I'm I, sorry. I was Please. just thanking you for the insight tonight. Uh, Ted Corliss, attorney from the Corliss Barfield Group in Tampa, Florida. Now, Rochelle, this money is expected. The league hopes to last for like 65 years, and that's why it was really important what Ted was bringing up, mm -hmm. how their revenues will continue to go up, although this money will stay still. And again, about 19,000 former players are eligible for this settlement, but they also can opt out and file their own lawsuit against the NFL. So while it's a drop in the bucket now, mm -hmm. it's a, it'll be an even smaller drop in the bucket Much as the smaller, years. As the revenues and TV contracts get yeah. bigger, way more revenue. All right, Michael, thank you mm -hmm. so much. Uh, helping the less fortunate. We're trying to get some coffee. That's what we're trying to do. <laughs> you guys want to go coffee. get some coffee? Why not? Yeah. Come on, let's, let's get go. Some Why one teenager decided to clean out his closets and take it to the streets. Plus, wearable gadgets. It could be the next big thing to come out of the Consumer Electronics Show. 
an exclusive America Tonight investigative series. We traveled here to Japan to find out what's really happening at Fukushima Daiichi. Three years after the nuclear disaster, the hidden truth about the ongoing cleanup efforts and how the fallout could affect the safety of Americans. Are dangerous amounts of radioactive water leaking into the Pacific every day? Join America Tonight's Michael Oku for an exclusive four-part series as we return to Fukushima. Continues next, only on Al Jazeera America. If you had a choice between going bald and a full head of hair, which would you choose? Advances in medical science have resulted in the world's first and only permanent solution to hair loss. Yes! You wash it, you cut it. It's your own real, naturally growing hair. When it comes to hair restoration, no one in the world has more experience than Bosley. The results look completely natural and are affordable on nearly any budget. But the entire process can't be explained in 60 brief seconds. So to find out more about this clinically proven and permanent solution to hair loss, call now to receive your free no-obligation information kit. It'll answer all of your questions about hair loss and hair restoration.